What is happening guys? It's Pikim Fun Fan 97 and I will be showing you guys how to change skin tone color or how to make your skin darker or how to make your skin lighter. So it's really simple to do. Uh, to begin with, we are going to go ahead and select an image. Of course, I selected this girl right here. You want a decent image in HD quality. It doesn't have to be to the extreme like this picture right here where you can see her eyes are like holy moly are amazing. but. That's not what we're uh, looking at. We're looking at uh, a decent picture where there's enough lighting so we can change the color. Because if the if when you take a picture and it's kind of blue or it's kind of dark or red, it's not gonna appear the actual natural color of your face. So try to take it in good lighting or something similar. Similar, but it in either mat no matter what, Photoshop will do will still do a better job at cleaning up and getting it done correctly. So. Sorry for that little tongue twister there. I don't know what happened there, but to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and get our brush tool. So by doing that, you will have a little brush right here. It kind of looks like a, a brush, or you just press B on your keyboard to get there. And if you right click, there's our more tools. So there's the brush tool, the pencil tool, the color replacement tool, and the mixer brush tool. We're gonna be concentrating on the brush tool, which is the standalone default brush that Photoshop gives you. To change the size, all you gotta do, this is more of a shortcut. Again, I'm gonna be telling you guys a lot of shortcuts in my series because I really want you guys to master these tools. They will, I'll promise you that it will speed up your work tremendously. So to make your size, your brush size bigger, just use your left and right bracket keys. The left bracket key will be to make it smaller and the right bracket key will be to make it bigger. So I will um, have it quite decent, just like this. And you can also click the down arrow right here on the top left, and then you can change your size from there, like th like so. So it does exactly the same thing. So um, yeah, make sure this is selected, default uh, size, whatever, mode, normal, opacity 100%. Then you wanna click Q on your keyboard. That will bring up the quick mask tool. Um, so if you don't have the, uh, quick mask tool selected, um, it should be in some, in one of these windows. I don't remember which one it is, but if I do, I will probably put it up in the screen so you guys can go there, but not to waste any time. So make sure this is selected. Uh, if it's not selected, you'll probably see like this. It's just normal. If you press Q on your keyboard, um, it will bring up like this. Uh, this little shape right here with a little rectangle with a circle in it and that will be the quick mask tool and it will be red just like this this means that it is for sure the quick mask tool that means you're going to be changing colors or no matter what you're doing to this it's kind of like a mask literally so you want to go ahead and select someone's face so go ahead and select just their face don't do uh, their eyes or anything or somewhere where it's dark just their natural eyes so as you can see, if you paint over this, it's not gonna look pretty. So try not to go um, under the nose or where there's shadows because that will really mess up the picture or the color, I'm sorry, the color. So let me go ahead and zoom in. See, I touched the lip. So we're gonna have to undo that. I'm trying to do this uh, a little fast because I wanna speed up the tutorial. And uh, if I don't uh, finish it on time, or if it's taken too long, then I'll probably uh, speed it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have to speed it up and you're just gonna be doing this throughout uh, the time that I will be doing. So you're just gonna, you know, get their face, around their eyebrows, under their eyebrows, just everything besides her eyes and her eyebrows and her lips and her hair. <laughs> so after this, make sure you select the hands cause that's what's on there obviously you don't want to have your face to be darker than your hands but that's just the natural skin color of your hands would probably be lighter so i'm gonna just leave that normally but if you want to change that go ahead and be my guest i don't care but i'll come back and once it's finished uh we're gonna continue guys i am back as you can see i'm not finished but i just wanted to um give you this little tip if you're doing the lips as you can he uh, see right here and if you don't want to touch the lips you might guys might be having this trouble if you don't then great just skip along But if you do if you go like this and it's really dark 
that may be a problem. So you, all you got to do is you right click anywhere. You can just right click and that will be, um, you'll get the exact tools panel that you will click right here on the down arrow and you right click and you change the hardness. You change it to about, I would say probably 35% and that will actually decrease the opacity as you can see. So that's really great if you're going up close excuse me, if you're going up close uh, to something that you don't want to overlap. So that's just uh, a little tip for you guys. But I'm going to continue finishing this and I'll be back. Hey guys, I am back and again, you may notice that I'm not finished. But if you guys want to erase something, as you can see, I went over the hair. All you got to do is actually use the delete or the eraser tool right here. The eraser tool, just press E on your keyboard. And you start clicking and this will erase the quick mask tool to whatever you messed up on. And that will uh, help you delete and get rid of stuff. So I'm going to continue and I will return again once I'm finished. For sure. I am 100% uh, finished with the result. As you can see, this is probably going to look like the one you have right now. Or it may, of course, it's going to be different. But you should get similar results to this where um, your person has an ultimate... Uh, ultraviolet <laughs> sunburn on their face but this should work out so once you have done this um you want to go into image adjustments then you can either choose one of these now before you do this make sure you click this and then go to images adjustments and then you can go to brightness levels or curves select any of these you can go into brightness um, now you can change the brightness but before we do that uh, let's go to, uh, where is it? oh yeah, sorry, I didn't tell you this. All right, you go into the quick mask tool, my mistake, sorry. You go down to the tools right here and you click the quick mask tool or just press Q again. Then you go to select and select inverse or shift command I or shift control I and this will select the inverse which should only be the face of what you selected. So then you go into image adjustments, then you can have more options. So sorry for that, but you should get the similar results. Then you can change your brightness, the levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, hue, and saturation, color balance, black and white, whatever you'd like. Uh, I like to, of course, change the curves because more better, more customization. So you can make her face really white uh, or make it really dark just like that, like she got a tan. Um, I like to keep it just under a medium tan, just like that, like that. Kind of bump this. We'll make this a little higher just to blend in with the photo. Um, we can probably put this up because you can see on her face right here that's not looking pretty. So I guess I'll go like this. Move this down just a bit. Plus you can add more. Uh, this basically I didn't tell you, but if you click. There's like a little cross sign or cross, uh, yeah, a cross sign. That means you're adding a new point every time, like an anchor point. This means this is the darks or the shadows, I guess. I'm not really familiar into, uh, into this kind of system. Uh, this would obviously be the highs. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to get into that yet because I'm not mastered with that yet. But you move around whatever you'd like to have. And once you are happy with the result, you just click OK. Uh, you click OK. Then to remove the lines, you go into, uh, let's go to select and deselect or press Command D. And there you go. There's your finished product. Now, of course, uh, if I zoom in, you will see that I went a little under of her uh, skin, but that's OK. Um, you know, of course, I didn't take my time as well, but... You can see that there is probably a few difference into this picture. So, you know, there's like a before and after. Oops. I don't, that's not a before and after. But yeah, that's a really nice way to kind of get your skin a little darker, a little brighter. You just do the opposite of what I made darker, right? So, if you were to delete this or put, use the erase tool, it's actually going to erase the document. So, you don't want to do that. You're going to have, if you messed up, uh, and you already did everything, you basically kind of screwed up the whole thing because um, it's actually final once you've done it. You can, of course, go into the histories panel right here 
And this will, let me bring it down. This will do step by step of everything you've done in Photoshop. Um, so if you went to the curves, um, whatever is in here, you can still delete, but it's gonna turn white. It's gonna erase the background. So either way, no matter what, when you first started using the brush tool, that's when you needed to fix it, not right after. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. So that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, and if you guys, of course, want to share some love, don't forget to share or favorite this video. One of those would be amazing. And comment below, like this video if you want to. I would really suggest it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.